They're in lockstep nearly every moment. Oh gosh, half of the time we're half together, we're laughing. You might even say inseparable. Although 55 years ago, in a small Mississippi town called Indianola, the Matthews twins, Lillian and Linda, actually were inseparable. When a young physician fresh out of medical school made a house call, expecting a routine childbirth with their mom. She was in labor and they couldn't figure out what was going on because my twin here said she kept coming out, coming out <laughs> and then she would go back in. Pull back in, come <laughs> out, come out and pull in. back in. And the doctor realized something was going on here. That something turned out to be two baby girls connected from the sternum to the navel and sharing a liver. Nearly the exact same circumstances as twins just separated at Cook Children's Medical Center in January. You have two babies on two separate The improbable story providing a spotlight for what's possible. As the women say medical journals and doctors at the time pronounced them the first separated twins to survive and thrive after their surgery at a Memphis hospital. How high were the odds? you two would be living here to have this conversation with me today? Probably zero. Yeah, the odds of us surviving. Was, uh, but we were separated five weeks old. I thought it was six. It was five. <laughs> okay. Um, at five weeks old, we were separated. Five and a half. Five and a half. <laughs> the banter. And there's the other corner. Okay. Indicative of a deep bond, best understood by those who share thoughts. How often do you two finish each other's sentences? A lot. A lot. <laughs> and often a comfortable grip. What makes you want to grab each other's hands? It's just natural, you know. We can be going through something and sometimes we're just laughing and talking. For the two teachers of 30 plus years who grew up with nine other siblings, a father who was a pastor and principal and a mother who fervently supported education, family was the backbone of everything, even as they were told they'd never be able to have kids. How many kids and grandkids do you have? Together, we have seven children and 16 grandchildren. That even includes Lillian's great-grandchild, Kalani, part of a rich family tree stemming from these matriarchs. Does that feel like a miracle to you? Oh, of course it does. Uh, I mean, we're really walking testimonies. A band of brothers, sisters, and cousins that could have been one more. But Lillian and Linda faced arguably their biggest hurdle decades ago. They did so together. She was pregnant, and I remember I just started feeling pain, and I started feeling just weird, just strange. And I told my husband, I said, doll having a miscarriage. And within 10 minutes, her husband called. She just had a miscarriage. And that was probably one of the toughest times, mm -hmm. I think. That was one of the toughest, to feel her pain. The tears they've shared and the love and support they've shown makes these two sisters and their story truly one of one. A ray of light for those parents who might be wondering about the health of their own babies. What does your story symbolize for those folks? Hope. That can be our twins. You have that healthy set of twins and they can survive.